Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a category seeder and obviously update our views for our category. So all the categories will go to the index and obviously the create method right here. All right, so let's do that in this lesson. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our terminal. And then we're just going to create a seeder. So PHP others and make seed category tables. Just do the categories table seeder. All right, so let's create that. Let's go to that seeder. All right, so let's go in here. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a couple of categories. And then we're going to seed the database. All right. So as you can guys remember, this is what we have done with our users table. So now we're going to do something a little bit different because what I'm trying to do is I'm just like to create every time something a little bit different so that we can learn different things, not the same thing over and over again. All right. So we can see different aspects to do the same thing. All right. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to, use the db facade all right so as you can see it brings it in up there all right and we're going to use this to create the table and the table in our database is the categories table and what we want to do is we want to insert okay so what we want to do is we want to insert and into that basically categories all right so the first one we can do an array. Let me just think. Insert. And then what we want to do in that is we want to create another array. So we're going to create a couple of arrays for every uh, entry into the database. Okay, so it's a name. The name of this one is going to be general. Right. And the slug is going to be lowercase general, like this. So that is basically the type of category, general, right? And then obviously the updated and created date dates. So let me just put this in here, like this carbon now. Right, a comma there. So let me just copy this one down a couple of times. All right, so we've got our general. The next one is feedback. So let's say you're building a firm for a company and they actually want their clients to discuss some stuff on the forum and where someone that can actually just reply and do a lot of stuff. So this is just really um, hypothetical. So, so suggestions all right and then we can just put here suggestions it's the slug at the next one what we can do what can we do technical assistance okay technical assistance okay the next and we can obviously do the slug if we can spell the <laughs> technical assistance right so do we got that and another one because sometimes when you want your clients to have a good time on your forum so they can go off topic a little bit like this and we can just do off topic okay and what else can we add events okay we can add events on there and another one we can add announcements so if the company has got any announcements they can put it in here just as okay so obviously these kind of things will be limited to the admin only this categories but for now we're just going to let it be open to everybody all right so that's basically what we're going to do and then in our database seeder we're just going to call in that categories 
table seeder. Get the go to ease, table seeder. Right, it goes there. Okay, so let's migrate the database. PHP artisan migrate fresh and obviously just seed it again. Right, that's what seeders and things are very useful for, so that you don't have to keep on creating things. You can just quickly and easily do it. Right, so there it seeds it. What is not found? Carbon. Okay, so that means I'm glad I show you that error. That just means that we didn't import it at the top, so we're just going to import carbon at the top as well. So let's read redo that. As you can see, all perfect. Right, so if I'm going to leave some errors in the videos so that you guys can, if you do see that, then yeah, can know how to fix it. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we got our categories in here. So let's see. All right, as you can see, we got our categories. We've got our seven categories in there, and they're all updated. Very, very, very nice. All right, so now what we want to do now is we want to actually bring in this data into our view. All right, so in here, so we want in our index method, we actually want that table with all the categories to be shown there. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so as you can see the profile, okay, we always need to re-log in again. Okay, so let's go to our view and to our controller to actually bring in the data and pass it to the way. All right, so let's open our category controller. So in our controller right here, as you can see, this is the admin one. And what we want to do is we want to return a view, and that will be to our admin.categories.index. Right, so that's the view that we want to pass it to. I really don't like the block code that much. It's not necessary. So let me just remove them. I know some people, this is all down to preference. For me, it just, it's just too much clutter for my eyes, actually. I don't like it. All right, so that's just preference. But I know some people believe in them, but you don't have to add them, like I said because you know, the code kind of explains itself, right? So now the next part is we need to obviously uh, pass the items to our view, the categories. So what we want to do is we want to do categories, and then we just want to get all the categories. So we need to just remember to import it at the top. As you can see, it's already there because we did the model binding when we did the created the controller. I just want to create them, bring all of them in. Okay, is there's not going to be too many categories. Right, so that's passed to our view. So if we go to our view right here, and on categories.index, all right, now what we want to do, let's quickly see what it looks like now. Now, as you can see, we've got our hard data in here. So what we want now is we actually want this to come from our database. All right, so let's do that. Now, in the table row right here, what we want to do is we want to create that add for each. Okay. So add the for each mm -hmm. categories as category. All right. And obviously, I just want to put in that row in here. And obviously, this is going to be the category. ID and this is going to be the category name and the last one hmm. what, what what was this one? Yeah, this is two name. Oh this is the slug. Okay, okay. So that's just right, that's right. Okay, let's just do it again. And this is obviously going to be just a slug. So category slug. All right. That we got there. And obviously this is going to be the created add date. What is it with me in this dollar sign at the moment? All right, so let me save that and go to the browser and see if it displays all the categories. 
Now, as you can see, it brings in all the categories right here. Now, what I want to do is, I just, like I said, I just kind of always going to try and to look for things to, let me just make this a little bit bigger for you guys, like this. Uh, yes, I think this looks a little bit better so you guys can see. So what I want to do now is I just want to, the default dates that comes through, instead of actually putting, you know, because normally what we want to going to do is if we go back to VS Code, we normally going to put like format right here and then you can just format the day month and yeah something like this all right now as you can see it brings out the dates like this now what if i want the default to be that from the model itself so that i don't have to actually format it inside the view so how do i do that so let's quickly do that so let me remove it from here. Okay. So I want this created add date to be in that format from the model itself. So let me, let's go to the model. So the category model. So let's go in here. So what we want to do now is we want to go in, in our model right here. I think it didn't save it from a previous one. That's why I just quickly added those. Now what we want to do is we want to do a public uh, function. Then we're going to get the created at no created at attribute. Okay, so we want to get the created. Okay, so I obviously didn't spell it right. Attribute, and then we just want to pass in the date attribute. Then we want to return a carbon instance created from format. Okay, so the format the default format is basically YMD, and obviously in the hours, hours, I. Come on. The seconds, and then we just want to pass in the date, and then the format that we want it to be in is day, month, and year. So hopefully this works. Make sure carbon is imported at the top, and let's go back to the browser. And if I refresh, you can see the default created add dates comes now like this. Okay, so you can do it however you want the format. So instead of having to, instead of having to add it here in your view, it actually now automatically comes uh, formatted pre, okay, so from your model itself. All right. So that's done. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to pass our create view right here. We want to pass that through to our controller as well. So what we want to do here is we want to return that view admin dot categories dot create. As you guys remember, this comes with the installation. So from the package itself, from our GitHub, all these views and everything's already been created for you. All right, so if you download or clone the GitHub repository, so this will be already been done for you. All right, so in our create route right here, what we want to do is we actually just want to do a route. Um, action that's going to be a route. That's going to be admin.categories.store. Okay, and obviously the method already comes since we use the blade UI components. So it comes already with a post method, so we don't need to add that in as well, and a CRF token. All right. So let's save that. And if we go back to our browser, hopefully no errors. If we go to our index, as you can see, we've got our things right here. And if we go to the create method, we have our 
thick form right here. Right. So the next one, we're going to just make this form functional. So if someone, if the admin wants to create more categories, they can create it right here. Okay. So they can just add a new name and that's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have any feedback or things that you want me to add to the blog, please put it in the comment sections to the, not to the blog, sorry, to the forum. So if you guys want to add anything additionally to that you want me to add that you want to learn as well please add it in the comment section but as you guys will see throughout the series i will add a whole lot of um, more intricate stuff not normal uh, average day of learning kind of things so i'll add that as well and yes all right thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one where we're just going to make the form functional this right here all right, so in the index method, obviously there's another part that we need to add here as well. We need to add the action button so for the admin to able to delete or edit the categories. All right, so let's in the next one, what we're going to do is we're just going to let the admin create and obviously edit and update and delete them. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.